Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Feature Friday video. I am going to be using this fabulous bundle called Best Catch. So we've got the Best Catch stamp set and we've got the Catch of the Day Thinlet Dies. And this is a must have for the men in your life. There are so many cool elements in here. I love this little fisherman down here. And we have the cattails and some maybe reeds. Um, that's a really cool image. And then of course the dies to cut out the images that are in the stamp set. So let's get started and make a card. I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat here. This is a piercing mat that we sell. I wrap it with printer paper, tape it on the back so I don't get ink all over it. I've got a whisper white envelope. Our basic gray cardstock at four and a quarter by 11 and then I've scored it at five and a half. I've got a layer for the inside of our card that's whisper white that is four by five and a quarter. A piece of our Tranquil Tide, this is four by five and a quarter, and I have to tell you, this color is retiring. So when our retirement list comes out at the beginning of May, this cardstock is gonna go really fast. So one of our in colors, if you wanna get your hands on some, I highly recommend that you order it earlier rather than later. Along with the ink pad, we've got ribbon, re-inkers, a set of markers that match those also. Then I've got a piece of Whisper White that is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. A few scraps here. Now I'm not sure we're gonna use all of them, but I've got Basic Black, Basic Gray, and Tranquil Tide. And then we're gonna play with this piece of Fun Foam. And I'll show you the other Fun Foam card I made this week when we're done with this one, just in case you missed it. Okay, the fun foam layer is four and three quarters by three and a half. And I came across an idea that I thought, oh, I have to try this out. So I have to tell you guys, I haven't actually made this card yet. So let's keep our fingers crossed that it turns out as good as the one in my head. Okay. <laughs> All right. First thing we're going to do, we're going to get our basic gray ink pad ready here. And we're going to do our technique first. So I decided that I wanted to stamp these fishing lures all over this basic, or this basic gray. This is just a gray piece of fun foam. Fun foam, if you missed my video on Wednesday, comes in a variety of colors. My fun foam happens to be backed with um, adhesive. So you can peel off this white layer and it's already self-adhesive. So we're going to heat up our fun foam and I'm just going to turn on my heat gun. You're going to heat it until your edges start to curl. Then you have to get ready with your stamp because you have to do this quickly while your fun foam is still hot. Um, I did try this technique out on a bigger piece of fun foam before I thought I could go ahead with this video. And I have to tell you that you don't want to keep heating your fun foam once you've stamped images because it'll make the fun foam you stamp the image into it it'll make it pop back up so that was one thing that I learned I'm gonna speed up this process so you don't have to listen to this heat tool but just trust me that you need to heat it until your edges start to curl up you need to get your stamp ready and you don't want to jam it in your stamp pad because you don't want ink all the on the edges of your rubber okay now you know your fun foam is getting ready when the edges start to curl, so you can see this piece lifting up. And it might smell a little funny. Don't worry about that. It won't burst into flames or anything. Okay, we're gonna start stamping. I think that looks pretty darn good. Okay, so do you like those fishing lures in there? 
I think that's a pretty cool look. Okay, now let's make the rest of our card. I am going to take, forgot to mention you're gonna need a scrap of Whisper White and we're gonna take the um, Stitch Shape Framelits die and we're gonna die cut that. And I've already got one done here. I'm going to stamp my fishing basket in gray, basic gray ink, and I'm gonna stamp that right down in the bottom, kind of right corner of this square. And it's meant to be very light and subtle. And then I'm gonna bring in your The Best Catch Ever. We're gonna stamp that in Memento Black. And I'm just gonna stamp that right here. Oops, there we go. It, that looks good, right? It's very like, it pops, I guess is a good way to put it. And then as long as we're stamping, we're gonna take that four by five and a quarter inch piece. And I wanted to stamp this fisherman and I'm gonna do that in the basic gray. And I'm gonna stamp him right down here in the bottom. And then, let's see if he will fit on our envelope, because I thought that would be, oh yeah, that would be really cool to add this to the envelope too. Yep, there's still room for an address here. Isn't that fisherman cool? I really like him. Don't forget, there's a die if you wanna cut him out too, so that's pretty cool. All right, we are done with our stamping. Let's move this envelope off over to the side. Okay, and then we have a fish. And I use the, there's actually two of these fish and I use the smaller one. And I die cut fish out of these three layers. So I've got that done already. Let me put my fish back so I don't lose them. And then I got out my threaders. Now, you probably recognize this. This is a sewing needle threader, and this is a threader that you get when you have braces to floss in between your teeth. I'm gonna bring in my linen thread here. Yeah, I had braces twice, actually, and I saved all of these. Well, not after I used them. These are not used in my mouth. Let's just be clear about that. <laughs> I don't want any rumors starting about that. But I am going to Put my linen thread in here. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, sorry, this won't work, forget that thing. I was thinking that it worked like this, but I don't think so. Well, maybe, yeah, you could use it. This is a lot easier. You know how to use your needle thread or you just go for it. I'm gonna use this one. And I'm just going to thread my fish on here. Now, I don't know if all three fish are gonna be the way to go. I know I've got four here, but I have three different colored. And um, maybe this is a terrible idea. Do you guys still have your fingers crossed? Because, um, yeah. Oops, there we go. We've got a basic gray, a tranquil tide, and a black fish now. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cut it with my disappeared scissors. Here they are. <laughs> Like magic, they reappeared. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that aside because I'm not quite sure about that yet. But I know that I need some dimensionals on the back of here, so we can do that right away. It's a little scary making a card for the first time on video. And let me tell you, if this doesn't work out, you'll never see this video, but I think it's going to. Sometimes the voices in my head tell me to do strange things. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but sometimes the voices in my head say, you can do this. And so I'm going to give it a whirl. So I'm going to take this green layer. This is our Twinkle Tide. And I'm just going to add this to the front of our card. Well, let's try and get it on here straight. That's a really good first step. <laughs> Okay, and then I've got, oh, let's get that inside layer in there. Now, I could stamp a greeting on here right away, but gosh, I like to leave my man cards empty so I can use them for whatever I happen to need. And if this happens to turn out to be a birthday card, I can put birthday in here. If it's um, a Father's Day card, you can, you can do Father's Day. You're the best catch ever. I could give that to my husband for Father's Day, right? 
And now you're going to want to attach your fun foam to this white layer. And this is the smaller white layer. And if you don't have self-adhesive fun foam, just, I don't know, put some tape runner on the back. I think that'll work fine. But mine happens to be self-adhesive. So I've got just a small little margin here. Let's see how good I can do. Oh, that was a little scary. That turned out pretty good. <laughs> okay. And then this is going to go on the front. Before we do that, we're going to take some of this linen thread and we're going to wrap it around this layer. And I kind of want to end up right over here. So I'm just going to do one, two, three. And I'll cut that off. Mm, do I want to tie a bow? I don't know. I don't think so. This is a man card. I don't want it to be froofy. She like that word? I just made up that little word, froofy. It's funny because I actually had a cat named Froofy when I was a kid. And guess who named it? Ah, uh, yeah, me. <laughs> Froofy. My mom was really thrilled. Um, <laughs> so this stamp set brings back a lot of fond memories for me. Um, back when my father was alive, every year we used to take a week. And all the kids and all their kids would jump in trucks and um, my mom and dad had an RV like a, a travel trailer with an engine on it truck thing and we would head to North Dakota for a week of fishing at Devil's Lake and I have some um, customers that live or are from that area who have um, told me that when I've mentioned it but I, I just have such fond memories now notice I tied that whoops I tied this knot loosely so my fish can kind of jiggle around and let's see what are we going to do with the rest of these knots here I don't know I think I'll just trim them down but um, we used to go fishing for a week every year and that's some of the best walleye fishing in the country if not the world it was really fun beautiful lake absolutely loved it oh my gosh you guys that's looking really really good so the idea is working but um, I'll show you some pictures. I just happen to have some framed art in my office. My dad died a few years ago, and um, I miss him dearly, but this always brings back fond memories when I think about fishing. And we've actually talked about possibly going back to Devil's Lake, but nobody's made it happen. So we'll have to see about that, because it's a, it's a long journey, and you know, my dad was always instrumental in making that happen. <gasps> cool. What do you think? I think it worked out great. We've got our fish hanging here. You're the best catch ever. The fisherman inside. And here is our fisherman on our envelope. Now, oh, look what I did. I stamped it upside down. <laughs> yeah, well, we knew everything couldn't turn out perfect, right? Here's the card that I shared with you on Wednesday. Actually, I have two of them. Um, I did the Cowboy Boots from Country Living with the Let It Ride Horse stamp set and the trees. This one is done in Mary Merlot and this one is done in Night of Navy. So I've got both of those. And then I promised I would show you. This is a tray that Stampin' Up! offered a few years ago. And um, after my dad died, I just took all my favorite pictures of him and added it to this frame. And it sits in my office, right? It prop, it's propped against the wall on one of my shelves. And I just love it. This is actually fishing in North Dakota. We're looking at the fish locator here. And I had so much fun with the fish locator my brother-in-law brought that my dad bought one for the next time we went so that I could play with that. And this is actually fishing in North Dakota. Fishing, this is Devil's Lake right here. And this was bear hunting. This is hunting season, bear hunting, bear hunting. There's my mom and bear hunting. So I just have some super fond memories of my father. He was a great guy and we had a lot of fun. So there you go. There's a little bit of, whoops. There's a little bit of Kelly history along with the faux leather look and some great cards using fun foam. Now, if you missed my video on Wednesday, you can get fun foam in any art department at a department store or um, any type of a craft store. They have fun foam. If you'd like to place an order 
for the best catch bundle. It is in the Occasions mini catalog. It is a must have in my book. And even if you're even if your peoples don't fish, it's still a great stamp set for the men in your life. You can hop on over to my blog right here. Click right up here. It'll take you right over there. Look for the host code in the right-hand column and that online ordering button. Click on that. You can go right to my store. You want best catch and catch of the day. This comes together as a bundle, or you can buy it separately. And don't forget to get those retiring in colors. The Tranquil Tide will be gone soon. You don't want to miss out on that. It's a beautiful green color. All right, you guys. I want you to have a wonderful weekend. And come back and visit me Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time on my Facebook page where we will be doing a live stamping class. And once again, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. I'll see you Sunday. Bye-bye. Thank you.